troll's feet explode and throw him so high up, I never saw him anymore, and we could be like, naturally yeah, that sounds viable. Yeah, sounds like a thing yeah, a troll naturally, would do. Naturally, yes, of course, could be like... Exactly like this. <clears throat> oh, here's another one for you. May as well, since we're on the topic of, uh, uh you know, weird, crazy things. <clears throat> it talks to me. The sword? Talks to me. What does it say? Lots of things. It depends on who's talking. It has different voices? One of them was talking about circles. Another one was talking about, uh... Ah, uh, I guess I shouldn't mention that. And the other one called me fat. I mean... And then got me to look behind myself as if there was something there, <laughs> and then laugh at me when there was nothing there. Actually, both of them did that at the same time. You think it's real, or something in your own head? Well, that's the thing, it is all in my head. Literally. Oh. It's I not... get these thoughts that... I can tell aren't mine. And I can tell they're not mine, because they tell me things I would never know. <clears throat> Such as when I'm being followed. Really? Sometimes they say things and then I feel weightless, like I'm wearing no armor. Talk to I received a missive from my father today to acquire something that had been stolen. I fought five men all at once. And afterwards, the sword said, you're welcome. There's something about it. Seems it's... like the kind of thing you'd bring up with Mirren or even your father, right? Isn't this some kind of artifact? <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Hmm. Mirren is the one who pointed out that there was something odd with it. Oh, right, his tingles. He says it... Yeah, he got his tingles. He said it was... a. It was of neither elven, human, or dwarven make. Then and the runes, what? his writings on it. Couldn't read them. I couldn't read them. They're not elven. I tried looking through all my books, I couldn't find reference of these shapes anywhere. Oh. Strange. <clears throat> The first voice that said talking to me, I asked his name, he wouldn't tell me. Where'd you find it? Uh, Myth Mandalorian, whatever it's called. Oh. Milf Mandalorian, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Milf Mandalorian, exactly. Um... Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. If it helps you fight. <sighs> It seems to so far. I don't know if it's going to drive me mad. I'm waiting to discover the caveat here. Ah. And I know it's probably something I should turn into my father and say, Hey, look at what I found. This is what I'm experiencing, but I have no idea, A, if he's going to yank it away and do something fucking weird to it, or if he's going to <clears throat> tell me to consider studying it, seeing as, as I'm the one suffering its experiencing its, uh... I don't know what word to use there yet. It's helpful, but it can be really fucking annoying sometimes. <laughs> um... Tiberius might be able to help. Tiberius? Just How would he be able to help? Between you and me, he's originally from Astagon. He's part of a group of, uh, call themselves Templars. They have different groups, but his group mm. was gathering and sealing away artifacts to protect him from people, or protect people from them. He might have something in his books about it. <sighs> On the flip side, he might also be like, we should lock it away. So... Might be worth a conversation. Might be. Well, like I said, Something I can tell you and you don't go, oh, 
You're fucking crazy. Talk is odd. I tell that to anyone else. Must be Tuesday. Yeah, it must be Tuesday. Uh, uh, that's true. Well, as long as it doesn't, you know... Remember that thing that Sarah had that made her go all... ...worse? There... Earlier on... Early, yeah, bleh, words. Earlier on, there was... ...a bit of an incident. I didn't know what it was at the time, but... Did you ever hear about that arena match that I had? Hmm. One of the mercenaries challenged me to a duel... <sighs> ...to fulfill a second-hand grudge. We started fighting into the arena and, uh... ...I began to enjoy the fight. Okay. I started to feel anger. Anger that wasn't mine. Ah. I remember feeling it and just feeling it and getting into it at the time. Her mo moves became easier to read, mine became faster. And the fight was supposed to be to the yield, and I found myself going for the death. It was stopped in time, fortunately, and that's... It was only then things sort of calmed down, and I realized that, wait a minute, where did that come from? I didn't understand it at the time, but... <clears throat> now I think I uh, have a better grasp on what that was. Mm. Yeah, see, I was, like, yeah, pretty chill about the whole thing until you mentioned that. I would push for a conversation with Tiberius, maybe. I will. All right, man. Before Mir Mirren left, he um gave me he gave me something. It was like a writing on a paper, some kind of seal. He said, "If it ever becomes a problem, just wrap this around it." Oh, I'm not sure what to think yet because this was this was before it started talking to me. Hmm. Hasn't given me issue yet, other than shouting in my ear when I'm trying to have conversations with other people. <clears throat> Is it talking? Hasn't been an incident since. Right now, no. It's hmm. it's quiet at the moment. All right. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on you and make sure this doesn't. Fuck you up like it fucked up. I appreciate Sarah. that. Because <laughs> I see that happening. I, I know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. You let me know. Alright. Because I promised Mira and I would let it become a problem, but... As much as I know it could and may turn into a problem, I can't help myself, but... I am curious. That's a slippery slope. I want slope. to know more about it. That's a slippery show, slope, Shilbrook. It's a very slippery slope, but at the same time, it's... I mean, who... <clears throat> Isn't the Institute designed for this? Like, looking at it and figuring out what it is? Is that not exactly what I'm doing? See, what you're doing is like, I wonder how this Night Killer works. You get what I mean? And what are they gonna do? <clears throat> Look at it through some glass and, uh, pick through the books? <sighs> Just don't lose yourself to it, is what I'm getting at. I'll try my best. Alright. And yes, you slap me around if it ever seems like I am. <clears throat> but as far as I know if I explain what it is and what I've been experiencing to my father he'll say that's research <laughs> if it's not happening to me then they'd probably just let it happen to somebody else 
honorable. Don't know if it's so much an honor thing as a... Well, either way, it's gonna happen. I mean, how else would you study a sword that talks to you after you wield it long enough? <clears throat> Better sit on a table and talk to nobody? Suppose... I just don't like this magic stuff. <clears throat> it fascinates me as much as it terrifies me. To know that there's so much else out there. I mean, that's the whole reason I left home in the first place. Wanderlust. See things, experience things, no more. Ironically like enough, that. it should be that desire for knowledge and seeing things that draws me right back to it. I used to be like that. I used to want to know the secrets to the world, and now I... It usually does more of a harm than good, truthfully. Any of this magic stuff, when Venora starts talking about it, my eyes start to roll. <clears throat> Well, the way I see it... <sighs> it's when people like the Empire or other bad men get their hands on it. That's when it becomes truly terrifying. I'm not scared of the things that Faye can do. Because... I trust her and I believe in her. And I know that whatever it is she can accomplish, she wants to use it for, well, for better. Yes, but then what if that changes is what I'm getting at. If that changes, well, then we best pray there are more people like Faye. You'd be willing to do something about it if it did. See, that's where the issue comes in. How do you fight someone who does magic stuff? Oh, well, we need more magic stuff, people. And then all of a sudden, it snowballs. That's the problem with having so, something so powerful like that. The only way to counter it is something like that. And then there's two of them did worry about it. And what's the alternative? <clears throat> I don't know. These people, I never understood Mirren digging down into it so much. I must understand this, even if it means putting me at risk. It... I... I get him. Is it like you said? It'll be a matter of people always trying to... grow more powerful or learn more. And if it takes a powerful, quote-unquote, magic wielder to take care of a powerful magic wielder who's evil, then that's just what it takes. I mean, the alternative to that is no one can do a fucking thing. I can't do anything. <laughs> Maybe a sword will help. That's anyway, not true. I've shirked my duties for long enough. It was good to talk to you and catch up. Truly. It was. Oh, speaking of duties, I need a safe. Yeah. Why? They cost so much iron that we do not have. Well, when you do have enough iron, I have the silver. I'll let you know, I suppose. Dare I ask why? You're not gonna lock your sword in it, are you? Uh, let's put it this way. I work for the Institute. Door. Yeah. Well, if you can source the iron, let me know. Anyway. <clears throat> How can I help? Uh, uh, oh, that uh, that's someone I needed to speak to directly. Uh, Come on. We uh, we have a problem. Uh, oh, by the way, I am uh, Diego, the carpenter. I work next to Mr. Marcus, the stone cutter. Mm -hmm. And I see them working on parts of the wall right now, but uh, there is a slight problem. Um. You see, with the lack of a woodcutter, we don't have enough fine lumber in order to continue the scaffolding and the tray to finish the walls. Um, 
Fortunately, unless someone provides the lumber, or you can somehow convince the Rodas to pay for the lumber, finishing the walls are going to be impossible. Okay, I will send a missive to the Rodas and see what we can do. <clears throat> Of course. Um, do you wish me to also alert your Sir Earnhardt oh, Senior? Oh. I'm on my way to talk to him now, actually. Speaking. Uh, he's busy working on the wall right now. I'll speak to him when he's Just free. See. Of course. So, I would expect a missive or another alternative, at least. <clears throat> Yeah. I just wanted to let you know. I do appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me a priest. Of course. How can I help? I, um, I'm sorry. I don't want to be a, a bother or anything. It's perfectly I, fine. I, um, placed a norther with, um, uh, Lord Arn... Arnolf and and I was uh, checking in to see if it was ready. Uh, what was it again? Um, Copper spools. We'll see that maybe. Uh, should have some. When did you place it? As for the, uh, A couple days ago. Training, by the way. And you've already paid for it. I'm trying to. Uh, no, wounded. he was to. Discussed the price with me once it was done because he didn't know how many fools he would get out of an ingot. <sighs> One moment while I check the I, documents. I've been trying to to find him for a couple days now, but um, no luck. She's kind of the one orchestrating the deal right now. She'll be she'll be done soon though. Another five minutes. Can you give me five minutes? Yeah, sure. Let me know you're done. Yep. No rush. Uh, Bron's got a question. He already left. Yep. I'm gonna worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick question. There's an NPC here asking about a copper spool that she put an order in with Arn. Um, I'm asking how much she owes us. Um, I made three spools out of an ingot. I pulled that out of my ass because I wasn't sure what the tracking was. Mm -hmm. I'll have to ask Kimji. Um, copper's expensive um, when it comes to anything other than weapons and armor. So likely 40-something copper for the whole spool. And there's three spools? Well, you can ask her how many spools she wants. Okay. Actually, 30-something copper, sorry. 30 per? Cool. Yep. No worries. Thanks, man. Okay, um, how many spools did you want again? Um, well, depending on how many he was able to make, uh, we can make three. To purchase them all. He has three here. How much is it per? Thirty per. Thirty copper per. Okay, I'll, I'll take them all. Very well. That would be ninety copper. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, uh, Blacksmith. These, uh, these feel pretty Thank nice God. to hold. Thank you. Thank you, we work hard. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Uh, you as well. I'm thinking about, uh, getting myself something to, uh, you know, protect myself, you know. You know, once it gets dark at night, you know, all that good stuff. 
something uh, something small, light, easy to use, you know? Uh, are you thinking more of a... Ugh. What the... That's why we set up the tripwires. What? Nothing, don't worry. Um, well, I would offer to make you something, however, we're still in an iron shortage. If you can source the iron yourself, I could definitely help with that, but right now I have nothing to make anything with. What about these? They're for display. Got some good blades here. It's a bit of a waste, don't you think? I mean, you're just leaving them out here. You know, someone could take these. I'm just saying. This is this is not us. This is Gradia. Anyone could just take these out of nowhere. He takes the dagger, puts it in, and just snaps it. They can take it if they want, but it's made out of shit iron. If a display. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Yeah, trust me. Well, I mean, good for you, I guess. You weren't planning on robbing me, were you? Ah. Uh... Me? No. Look. You know, some people say that I look like a bit of a, a sneezy character, you know? I got an honest living, alright? How, how dare you think that I would steal something from here? I just asked. I'm just wanting I didn't to defend suspect myself, anything. Man. But, if yeah. you want to get your yeah. hands on something, Wainwright comes through the marketplace every now and then, and he usually has something on hand. How much is your... What about one of these? He just picks up a generic dagger. How much one of these? Two. Like if it was made with iron or whatever. It would be five silver. Five si Okay. Do you know how much Wainwright's weapons... Go for? No idea. <clears throat> Depends on the day, I suppose. But probably cheaper than five silver. Remember, the reason it's so expensive is because we are in an iron crisis right now. If you can supply your own iron, it would be a lot cheaper. But I know that's a total. Uh, yeah, a little bit, man. A little bit. Freaking. Okay, I'm gonna level with you. Just earlier today, that uh, that fish freak, the one that used to fight in the arenas, they looked at me funny. I walked by them. All right, they said something real snarly, real. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. There's something about that. I don't. I don't feel safe around them. So just in case, if they could bite your arm off, man. Yeah. You saw what they did in the arena. I've seen their teeth. Yeah. I I, I need something. I, I need something. Like I don't know. I don't know what. I, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing to them. They just decide they want to look at me weird. I don't know. Well, I'm working on getting some <laughs> iron in. Um, if you come back in a couple of days, I might have something, but no promises. Now that the Tellor Keep is back under our control, we might be able to have some income. Your other option is, of course, Wainwright. <sighs> right. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. Uh... Thanks. Thanks, man. Of course. Uh, yeah. Are those also just... just bad metal or whatever? These are <clears> all <throat> this? Just... Yeah, the display. D try not to break them, because we do need them to look good. A shield is more doable, though. I don't do armor craft, but if you talk to the woodworkers, they might be able to put something together. I don't know how much that would help you, though. Yeah, something, yeah, something between me and the claws and the teeth, yeah, yeah. How, yeah. I rather just have something like, that thing decides it wants to sink its teeth into me. <coughs> don't, mm. That thing belongs in the slave pins, man. I don't know why they let it, who's, I asked a guard. I asked a guard who the owner was, they don't even know. Like they were owned by some noble, I guess, when they were in the, in the arenas. They don't know who owns them now, they just let them walk around the streets. They've changed hands, yes. He's a freak, man. <clears throat> That could kill anyone. Well, until you have something to defend yourself, I recommend keeping your distance. Just avoid contact. Best way to win a fight is not yeah, being one to begin done, with. Done, man. I'm trying, man. I think just scurries around the street like it owns the place. You look fine. You look okay. You're right up until now. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah. Like obviously, you know, I. 
I go for my runs, you know? I can tell. I got into a... a f I got into fights when I was a, a younger, younger man. Well, you there know? you go, you'll be fine. I can take care of myself. You'll be fine. Yeah, against other, like, other guys. Not against freaking monsters. Come back in a couple of days, I might have something to make. Alright, man. Okay. Hey, you seem pretty cool, at least. Guards are useless. They don't do anything uh, w with the... <sighs> You're the oh yeah, this is like the 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 urn the urn hearts. You're part of the urn hearts, right? Correct. Lord Erhard. Yeah, yeah, has a pretty tight. Yeah. If you excuse me, I have oh, a meeting. Oh, looks like you got another customer. I'll uh yeah, I'll, I'll get out of your way, you know, Mister Earnhardt or whatever. I'll c a couple of days. I'll hold you to that. I'll do my best. Hopefully, I'm not dead by, <clears> that, by that by that freak. <sighs> What an interesting one. <laughs> Everything okay? Um, well, I was hoping to get the information that I sent a raven for a couple of days back. Sadly, however, nothing along those lines, but information for your father. Have you seen him around? Um, last I heard, he was helping build the wall. Hmm. He... Well, if you're not preoccupied, if you'd like to join me, of course. I'm making my way over there now, then. No, I'd never turn anyway. down and walk with you, Crenshaw. Doug, you're lit. <laughs> Thanks oh, for, that uh... That was intensive. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for, uh, looking after the kid, by the way. <clears throat> The kid? The baby that Aunt said you were looking after. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Oh, I, was, God, I thought you were implying I have a kid. fucking do that to me, Crenshaw. I... <laughs> I'm the godfather of that fucking child. What kid? <laughs> oh, you mean that sack of potatoes I threw off the balcony? <laughs> you know, back when I first learned how to drive a cart, it was quite interesting. It was with <clears throat> my father, young lord. Mm -hmm. He locked up on the wheels itself. He said that we were going to Grandmama's. But as he was going on the back and windy roads, there was a river not far from. This <clears throat> is how I also learned how to swim. He locked up on the wheels. There he went into the back and grabbed the sack. I was inside the sack. Oh. And then he tossed me into the water. The easy part was learning how to swim. The hard part was trying to fight the snakes he put in there. <laughs> Alright, moving forward. Your childhood was nearly as bad as mine by the sound of things. Are you okay? Are you a child of divorce? Hmm? <clears throat> what is a divorce? It's when mummy and daddy doesn't love each other very much anymore. Oh no, they hated each other. So much that daddy killed mom. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> Crenshaw. At least your dad stuck Sorry, around. I'm unveiling my tragic backstory. Look at Leon. Hello then. <clears throat> you call me stinky. Did I just get called stinky? What the fuck? <laughs> It's, uh, while they're yeah. leveling that, I got another thing for you. Okay. okay. <clears throat> if only the Lord Anna Fernhart was nearby. Better for you, your eyes only, sir. Right. Brought in by one of my ravens. Oh. Alright. Let's see it. Oh, a week and a half ago. Hi. <clears throat> you should not lay open, take off your shirt, be all macho. There is more <laughs> sitting on your desk. Could not find you. Am I doing it for them or for you? Both. Mostly good. Strength isn't really my uh, strong suit. <clears throat> <sighs> 
Bad Mate, ribs. Disney, excuse me? Some information of close friends. Mm, okay. Excuse me. It's an update. Why don't, why don't you help them? I'm also not that strong, you know? One person they're trying to hide. <laughs> More for morale support, I see. <laughs> oh, absolutely. She got Tiberius to help. Are we sure he's been sighted there? Out of everywhere it could be. <clears throat> From my knowledge, she... yes, my lord. <laughs> this is spectacular. This is something we'll have to move on in the near future. Damn your eyes, Crenshaw. Yeah. You're a genius. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Please, dude. <laughs> Shall we be back? Good luck with the walls. Hopefully everything's going on. Well, we're just spilling some gravel. We've got another section in. It's slow going, but it's going. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, well, then do not hesitate to call Thank upon me. I didn't know back in my day. I could have seven stones of an hand. It would help if you could get us a few more free bodies. I'll come up and pain. help her after this. Sir Broker! It won't be much help, but... What's the foreman paying those who are assisting? For unskilled labor, it's 25 copper. For trained oh, labor, copper. it's 50 copper. Welcome back. That's back. easily a few oh, meals. <laughs> It's all right. around. I help carry a bucket. Could you so, do so, my lord? Oh. I'll swing by after this and come and help out. I will do so now. Not much, but I'll help. give my pay to somebody else. Oh, there you go. Come on. Why are you holding a book? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, my sword. You might want to, you want to learn you know, something. <clears throat> run and ask them real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well. Yeah. Leave the book here. I shall return this to the household. And we will be here. So you stay here, and I will be back. Sound yeah. good? Very well. Have a seat and wait for me. Something I need to worry about? You sounded happy. No. Nothing to worry about. Something to be happy about, though. Good. 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 Good news? I know. What is g good news? It is something you don't Be careful, my lord. The stutter is not good for you. It's not good for the image. <sighs> You're saying people with stutters. Looks like Rinchon, we might have to slap it out of it. It? <laughs> oh. It? That's I haven't no, been called stutter. it in in I'm ages. I'm not associating with that conversation. I said slap the stutter <laughs> out. To say the least, it by your own the stutter. Stutter. I'm not calling you. You said stut. stut you, know, you said you know slap what? the stutter out of it. It being me. Eh. Oh well. We well, oh. found you as a non-inanimate object. You're basically nothing to him. Been there before. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Quite pleasant. Thank you. You gonna help on the wall, Tiberius? <clears throat> well, well, you insist. <laughs> I'd love to reveal this information, but I best that <laughs> recommend that you ask your father of it. Okay, I will. Sorry about such bugs. No, it's okay. Um, they taste good. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but don't move. Don't move. Tag. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tag? Police be like, if you take another step, I'll shoot you. Me. Only stab me. I'm not taking I'm not taking another step. They can't stab me. Hold on. I have to let you know about something. The floor is lava. <laughs> Already dead. 
<laughs> no, uh, I got, Help, I got love. <laughs> Crenshaw told me some really fucked up shit about his childhood, by the way. He, he does. <clears throat> so I feel like. He said, and I quote, <sighs> Daddy killed Bobby. I'm sorry? Just let me know, my lord. I will put him down. Just so he doesn't... He's a child of else. divorce, not a <laughs> fucking... He's not Akka. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I can still hear his voice. He's always around watching, I swear. He's, he's, birds. he's a spy master. I thought I heard him. You're going uh, mad, Tiberius. He's in the walls. He's in the, walls. Yeah, unfortunate. He's in the goddamn walls! <laughs> Crenshaw? <laughs> It'd be wise if we left our swords here. No offense. Well, I don't want them to get nicked by a random worker. <clears throat> but I like this sword. Ah. <clears throat> All right, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, my lord. <laughs> Someone in my chat said, "I I miss Crenshaw. I love crack whore's last name." <laughs> 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 Sounds like two buffaloes um, fighting. I was gonna say something very inappropriate, but yes. <clears throat> you, inappropriate. Uh, I know, right? Perish the thought. <clears throat> Where's my music for this? Uh. Marcus, Matthias, I got a job for you two to do real quick. All right, Foreman. Perfect. There are two points. Yeah. Block outside the city gatehouse. The block we need. Okay. For suspension for the day. If you don't mind, carry them over here. That'd be appreciated. Play a boot. He's holding a punji stick with a boot on it. <clears throat> oh. That's what that sound go. was. Mm. Uh. That explains a lot. Well, you can get the hole fixed. That's a good news. Maybe the cobbler is very skilled. If he was ever present. Mm. It's, it's hard to track him down to get well, taxes. <clears throat> Big shame. It, it, I mean, it would be good fun. because... He's the only person I know covered in snakeskin outfits, but... Snake yeah. skin? I mean, it, it would be real. Really useful to have a skilled cobbler because these were not just normal boots; these were boots of orc tracks. Actually, very useful. Horse and sled for these blocks. Are you telling me that you lost a named item to punji sticks? No, I lost a named item to hubris. 
Sounds about right I to me. Who is Hubris? <laughs> Hubris, thy <laughs> name is Marcus. But aren't you the one who stomped on the punji sticks? Isn't that Hubris? Okay, that's just consequences of my actions. Hubris is him not wanting them destroyed because they've hurt more friends than <laughs> enemies. Mm. Oh, we don't know that. <laughs> we to finish what we're doing here. Yep. Are you coming to assist yep. or not? I am. I'm just putting on my uh, extra <laughs> gloves. Good. I'm just going to start laying brick on the other side. Get my boot there. <sighs> <sighs> why, why is it the default for everyone? What? What? Shirt. Sh shirt. Shirt. It's hot. Yeah. Shirt. I actually believe that is the elect of the show. I'm hot. Hmm. I'm so fucking hot. Exactly. I'm That's happy why we to take our shirt off. Upside down. Why? Just so you could get your shirt off easier. Where <laughs> <laughs> goes the walls? Right. What are we doing? Said <laughs> <laughs> so laying down brick right here. <clears throat> Everyone else is. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I assume? Uh. Mistake. You know what happens right. when you assume? Oh, you make an ass out of you and me, and that's all you're supposed to do. Has to ensure that we can. Language around the lady. Right. Uh. My lord. True. See, some new appreciates etiquette. I'm like, ha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, at your command, Lady Heidemann, I shall suffer a thousand lashings. For this. <laughs> A lot, but I have no idea what. Right. Guess he wanted them here, didn't he not? I guess. <clears throat> I don't know, I think it's been a couple of decades of brain damage. Just... I can smell the fiery goodness. Lord Arnold, what are you smoking over there? Progress is... It's the good kush. What are you smoking? It's pungent! It's heavy. Where are we putting Spike. these? No, uh, no, <coughs> I do not drink. Do not smoke. No, thank you. Do not. Smoke. Where do we put these on? That's what I want to know. It was imported by a friend before we left. Yes, we get it. Very good. Start laying bricks. Yeah, but where are we putting them? Okay, good. If you can't figure it out, then you should go. Home. <laughs> We're not uh, I don't want to smoke. No thanks. I'm sure it soothes the nerves, but no thanks. Yeah. I should have seen my father. That's what he'd like to do. Don't just splash it on. Wait, hold on. Hang on. Unskilled. I feel like I'm not going to like this guy, am I? <laughs> quick, let's grab more. Quick, 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 quick. Shh, shh, shh. What did? To get back mm -hmm. here. What you didn't the fuck like was that? Bitch, did you? <laughs> Lady, no, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we putting these? Hey, hey what's up? You can't just slap those on. Okay, where the fuck am I gonna put them? Splash all the mortar everywhere. I can't reach any further than right well, don't here. Don't just slam them either. These are blocked. You're gonna break them. Break the fucking right. safe. So pass them to you. Yeah, catch. Dang, where's that pallet? There you go. Pallet empty. Yeah. Of course. We got to my break. We just made. Lord Thessal was kind enough to import from peddlers that had some like, filth from the Three Kingdoms. To stir it up. That's probably why it stands out a little bit. God's sakes. Foreman, we need it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> put those up. Put them at the end there. How about this? Put, put the next couple of bricks on this. Okay. <clears throat> Just to a wooden pallet. 
Alright, sir. I'll, uh... What's this Bathhouse girls. And God, I got the nobility down here. Um. You know, I'm realizing a flaw in the plan here. Ludwig. So. That's him guarding Understood. I'd like to think I'm the chief medical officer, but I don't know at this point, so... Hmm? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about doing strength training. Yeah, we were. This is not exactly what I've had in mind, but <coughs> it works. How am I looking? I got a good pump going? How's that mixture looking? Do a few squats and then he'll be really pumping. We got one bucket so far. My God, he's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very wise hmm? of you not what? to get to the moon. What? what did I say? Nothing. Yes, of course. Mm. No, nothing. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> right, more brick, huh? Here you go. All sorts of creatures. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you so much, Marcus. Uh, so much you like to inform me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Dearest son. Yes, Papa. In this bucket is a mixture of mortar. Start laying it down on this layer so we can start laying rocks down. On it. Let me climb on up. Tang and the guy over there are getting another pallet set. So watch out. Set the cement all the way down the brick. Yep. You know anything about brickland, son? Laying down the next bit of I know to put the sludgy stuff first, and then put the stuff on it, and then put the sludge. No, all the terms. All right. Make sure you don't slam it down. You need to carefully place it. Make sure it's straight and level. There you go. <laughs> you do a much different building style than I do. No, no. Uh, you don't smear it on the ground like it's. Blue. Don't you fucking swayze me from ghosts. Don't fuck. No, don't touch me. <laughs> It's putting sludge on the ground. How is this fucking wrong? It's not sludge, it's mortar. And it's a lot more complicated than that. You don't put it down like it's a glue. It's not a glue. It holds bricks together. That's what glue is! Yes. Listen. Form, form okay, form I'll show form you form how it's done. Form 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 it's my lord. May I? That's what I the little Please pointy thing. Done that way. All right. Show them Please. how it's done because this is Thank hurting you. me on a spiritual <laughs> level. I went to school for this for four years. I'm not gonna see. Oh, school. the bricklayer is telling me he went to school for four years. <laughs> Do you know 99% of men are bricklayers? Anyway, so... Yeah, it's, here's the trowel. It's just uh -huh. dip it in. Yep. And like it's glue, he yep. just kinda... Oh wait, it's it's like what? Foreman, I got another bug of mortar where you want it. That's what I was doing, that was literally what I was doing, Marcus. I know, I know, here you go. You, you got it, you got it. How, wait, how are you doing it? You would see, Marcus did it perfectly well. Do you think we have enough? That's good enough. I don't see you with your fucking shirt off. smeared it on the ground. Oh, this fuck me. Oh, that... That bothers me. Alright. I've worked countless summers wearing nothing but a hoodie and jeans. I don't want to hear Jack. I'll take empty motor buckets. He can not. Right now. He's go he goes, it's not glue, it's a bonding agent. What the fuck is glue? Oh Alright, listen. What is glue? You don't smear it, you do it in a line. I did exactly what Marcus did. I would make it all the right size so that the bricks aren't. Who was getting the buckets? Alright. Any empty motor? There we go. This. Right. And most of them are writing forms. I'm going mad. I see. But the proper way to do it is literally to get it on the trowel, shake it a little, and then...
Right, but I don't have. So it's in a line, and you get your trowel, and you make a trench in it. Almost. That makes it better. I'm, I'm doing what I'm told, but I'm, it's just it's, 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 this mother. He's, shut up! Just shut the fuck up! It's not, it's not glue. It's a bonding agent. What the fuck does that even mean? There's a difference between glue and mortar. Okay. Listen. Now I get why you hate peasants. Just get to work. You'll get paid later. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Not that they need to pass us Even if they want. Thank you. You okay there? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey. God. Careful. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I got you. This is so laying these bricks, bricks down. Oh, we'll have this. Thank you so much. Where do you want the mortar? Or man. Let's just pass him by. Mortar, where go? That corner there. <laughs> that corner. Get right, one on the four corner. corners. <laughs> get one brick layer on each one and bring it in. We need to get yeah. three courses done by the end of the day. My fucking job's been taken. <sighs> okay. Back, back there to the Who right are you? Thank you. One eye. Alright, this is looking really nice. I'm going to let the lady drop <laughs> cut. Right. Right. You know. Hang on, I got one. Let me get in. <laughs> Just help you out. I stand on my shoulders. Alright, I'm going to get the order back in. That one is full. Uh, <laughs> and of them is full. Sorry, that one's full. I just put that one down. Sorry, oh, whatever. We'll get there. I drank it all, so we're gonna need more. You're gonna be shitting bricks, you know that. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Careful! Hey, <clears throat> man, come in. Turn me up. <laughs> Alright, if I pair up with you, it'll... it'll, it'll go. Uh. All right, so I, and then I, and th you do that. He said not to do that, specifically not to do that. <laughs> Listen, he had eight years in builders. This fucking guy spent a decade in building school. <laughs> Whereas I spent ten years building. <laughs> I spent ten years building. <laughs> Love your <laughs> <laughs> I spent 10 years in school. Okay, I spent 10 years actually building. You know, they're like, hey, I had 8 years of art school. I spent 8 years doing art. Oh, who's gonna do it for <clears throat> Okay. Oh, we're almost done with the lines, so we'll be good to go. We will need these in between um, each of the bricks they lay. I'm empty. Okay, they, they can get you some Marcus, more. Do you have a joint? You might want to be ready. Dredge is bringing bricks over. And he's going to be carrying a lot faster than I am. No, I was thinking having the drill boy do it. Oh, no, 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 no. That that brick is not plumb oh, with the flush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your horse. Marcus, your horse is in the way. Thanks. Oh. It's in the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. All right. My well, flush isn't plumb horse, with the brick. No. It's all off kilt. Uh, over here <coughs> onward. You know how we say it where I'm from? <laughs> it's, it's on the piss. Is that like a drow building strategy? Yeah, we say it's on the on the piss when it's not lined up properly. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, what am I doing with this this thing? It's, you said it was a joiner? Alright. I barely so, know her. It's a joiner, yeah. It's a... It looks like a bent piece of metal. So, that's how it's meant to look. It's pretty easy. All you're really doing is, as we finish up each course, uh, you basically just... No, uh, no, no. So you know those spaces in between the bricks where the mortar is? Yeah. You basically just applying a small amount of pressure in and putting it in. It helps with the bonding. Uh, now always remember, head before bed. Do the head joints first and the bed joints. Go ahead. That's the saying I had when I was younger. Sure. No, I got this. I'm, I'm just stacking. I'm stacking. You're fine. That will happen again. And if I'm weak, then I can put you in the crossfire. If I go, I'll be going alone. But perhaps we'll see each other. Nice mixing. We just made another bucket. I think we made double. I'd rather not get you injured for no reason. Hmm. Okay. Well. 
If you do decide to go oh, yeah, with us, you will be welcome. Man, I can help. Thank you, my friend. We got the brick covered now. <coughs> it also <coughs> so goes for him as well. I'm laying bricks. He spent 10 years in bricklings. How are we on water? We did that once already, remember? <coughs> we mean, I did that. <laughs> yeah, it didn't have the desired effect. Bad son. Bad. <coughs> Bad. <coughs> Stop. Mm. Your own father. Don't, don't. Your body's not doing what you thought it would do. You're like arching your back and shit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> It's still not doing what you think it's doing. Listen, just get up, get to work, alright? This fucking guy. This guy. Who are these people helping me? How dare they? Fuck yourself, oh. Hey, come on. Grab a means. Oh, I have enough coin. Just leave yours. He's doing bro bono, he said. By our powers combined, we make one competent bricklayer. I think you were listening to the foreman. <laughs> Scusi. For anyone who needs Your to see the foreman, he's right here. He's in charge of this project. Uh, <laughs> right, let me get out of your way. Good to see you, Tiberius. Yeah, this man spent uh, ten years in Brick Lane School. What's this box for? Didn't know there was a school for Brooklyn. Bricks! It's called trades. <laughs> Isn't that what merchants do? Right. Yeah. Yes, uh, it sucks. That's why I'm so more pale. Are you here to help, or are you two here to watch? Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> got nothing better to do. You have any experience <laughs> in, in construction, Drake? <laughs> no. I'm just moving bricks. <laughs> Yeah, you wanna pour some right. water? I'll keep We're moving block, but it works. Um, All right. I think, well, so are you I placing mean, the block the where he is? Oh. Yeah. I'm just putting it where right. he's putting the okay, stuff good. down. All right. Don't just drop yeah, it. I need to put it down. Right. Because if Kyla, not you like see, glue, when you like drop cement. it, it just turns Like bonding agent. I assume that's Let me at least get this line done. Yeah. It's what... It's what bonds Goodness. the uh, <laughs> It's what bonds the agents together. Okay, you put one down. Well, on I'm in in charge of security oh, okay. and the Redard forces here, and I spend my day getting shouted at by a man who spent 13 years in Brooklyn in school. We're just stacking numbers. <laughs> I'm a man of the people. I think that's as high as I can reach. My son, you know you sound like an obstinate dickhead, right? <clears throat> Do I? Having a desired effect, then? What does he sound like? This is actually the more efficient approach to it. Sounds like someone doing his job that we need to do their job. And you sound like you're going to make us look bad if you keep being a prick. It's Cold Ale from Crenshaw. The foreman would notice Trey is stacking them slightly, not alternating. Yes, now I can. What do you want, Trey? He's building the wall. I mean, I'm just. I'm doing it like you said. Well, let's just, let's figure this out. So, Dredge, <laughs> these are the time before they set. Move them alternating, kind of like what we have before. Just a few more. 
<laughs> yes, thank you. So take the. Yeah, the. <laughs> I'm glad you can easily slide <laughs> them. <laughs> I think the gun was set up right behind you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I'm waiting for this labor. Huh? Oh, so uh, one more over here. How do you figure? Okay, <coughs> those two should fit there. I don't know. As soon as those sides are finished, we need to do the gravel again. Just a few more bricks. We'll be done for the day. We just do so on the other side. All right. Kind of like you see there. One layer at a time. Um. Yeah. I think we're tank dug. There should still be gravel. I can start shoveling. Brings you around here. I went so What do you need to do? Break, shall we? Marcus. <laughs> yes. Are you in place? Yes, so we're starting up. We're trying to finish up this. Oh, we pour uh, the gravel. Uh, yeah. All up here. <clears throat> we need to remore. Okay, we need to get more uh, gravel. The blue fish woman <laughs> is harassing Lady Lardy. Yeah, that's more bleak. Sorry. Let's do it. If we have tank. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, remember there's still a lot of gravel there. We <coughs> can, uh, we, I can just shovel it, but I just need bricks. someone to carry it. Bricks are small, blocks are big. That's literally the only difference. Uh, Foreman. And it should be... Perhaps just give them simple instructions instead of the class and masonry. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go get the gravel. Big, big, big yeah. blocks in place. On the line. That's what I was fucking saying! Don't worry, Watch your feet! Or <laughs> gravel. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Look, the way we'll really test this is if I hit it with my anchor and it doesn't fall over, it'll never fall over, right? Done. Done. Right? Done. Mixed up with well, counter Come on, me, we're gonna get uh, some more gravel. But how much sand that comes up when you throw that thing? <laughs> Anyone need drinks? <sighs> I was collecting from the leftovers here, but we're all out of the Yes, it's going to get more, it looks like. If you can procure a barrel of water with my crew, we appreciate it. Oh, wow. See, the dirt looks good on you, Stefan. We're going to need a barrel to transport all the gravel. I sure can. If Marcus is an hour, one ask the foreman. I'll wait for you here. Oh, completed in record time, huh? Alright. That wasn't me. Alright. <coughs> Could you please stop wasting my materials? Uh, speaking of wasting your materials, I don't know what they're doing, but the, the Triton is over there at that table. I don't know if any of those papers are yours. <coughs> oh, back with a fresh barrel of gravel. No, I'm it? taking this to get the fucking gravel. <coughs> I'm more excited about a medal. Come now. I'm gonna go get the gravel! Oh lord. What is the gravel saying that this is going? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Are we playing bricks here yet? How? How did it. You don't even. You're going to break it back. Hey, Foreman. Dredge! Are we putting bricks here? Are we putting bricks there? I've made it to the end of the line. Gotta work smart, so far, not hard. On the main you mean get dredged to do it? Work smart, not hard. That's yeah, smart. Something, something delegation. Dredge! Yeah. So for now, I need a job only you can do. I need a big, oh, strong man. <laughs> he and I are gonna fill this with gravel, but we need somebody to move it when it's full of gravel. It's a few hundred pounds. <laughs> So, Something's you bring the barrel, <coughs> we're gonna go get some gravel, and you can sit and rest in the shade while we get the gravel in the barrel. Sounds good. Now, where can I steal some gravel from? There's a bit of shale over there. Can you imagine me one day, as strong as... It's all a good day, huh? I was pretty strong on the side, so I could it was around. Well, it looks like some of the boys are on it over there already. You remember? Mm. 
surprise the some of the nobles down here helping with the uh, construction. Does that really surprise you, Judge? Back in Gorkadi, the only time I saw nobles was when uh, guards pushed everyone off the main street. And the one time with the cart. It could be argued we're just being selfish. We want the walls up so we don't get eaten by orcs. I guess. But I don't think I've ever seen a noble do a hard day's labor in my life. <laughs> no, will you? Never again. <laughs> Not after <Come> today. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, I'm more surprised to see Ladia try to lift one of those b b blocks, right? Not bricks. Probably wants to be out Yeah. Hey. First barrel's done. May I present our savior. <laughs> we have ah, yes, come the gifts of a second emptier barrel. Raise me the barrel. But that barrel's full. All right. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Dre. <clears throat> All right, boys. This is where Tang dog. You can notice a big hole where he was. <laughs> as soon as you guys put gravel in, I'll jostle it. Excellent. Be the head jostler. <laughs> yes. Appreciate the talk, Marcus. <clears throat> I mean it. Of course, man, anything. Give it a jostle. Man, if only I told people months ago that building the wall would give us good luck. If only people did this more often, <clears throat> this construction would probably be done a lot faster if anyone who was tracking it was going off of how much effort was put into it by outside forces. Fair enough. <sighs> Almost full. Oh, no. oh, my face. There's no fun way to do that. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Can you hurry up and jostle it, please? I don't. <laughs> Can you jostle it right. anymore? <laughs> I'm jostling. That's not how you jostle. Alright, jostle master, <laughs> won't you show us how it's done? I spent three years in jostle school. I got my lifting belt and everything for all this. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> How's it looking? Almost filled. Two more. Sufficiently jostled. Two more. <sighs> All right. Just a warning. Tiberius might be about to throw his back out. Is he getting pegged again? Oh. Now this one's good to go. Let's go see this. No, I left him with the barrel of gravel on the wall, and I think he was trying to move it himself. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's dead. That's not good. <laughs> Please, no. nice talking to. Oh, God. I feel all delirious from the heat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's what the ale's for. Yeah, sail sounds nice. Mm. Could be a couple of uh, glasses still over there. Mm. I can keep going. One else can get take a break. <laughs> it's good. Well, I think that was the last of our uh, the last of the brick we had available has been laid down mm. and mortared. All that's left is a flatten the gravel and cold a day. <clears throat> it's almost night time. Cold, uh, in fact, it is night time, you're correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. The scaffolders were mentioning that we're running out of wood to help continue on the wall, by the way. They want more, uh, 
wood coming in. Also, the farmers want more land to farm off of because they're struggling to keep up with taxes. I said we're working on it. Mm. The wood is a problem. We don't have woodcutters anymore. No. With Seth's death, most of them were driven out by the orcs. <laughs> and without the dwarves, you know, you can't head out there. Yeah. That thing we were talking about earlier could solve that. the farmers. I don't know how well we yes, can push Yes, the farmers. Out. I don't know what to do about them. Yeah. <clears throat> Might be someone who can make a deal for wood, right? Have to pay for it. Well, the roads are open now. I would think so. Hmm. It's a matter of funding. Who? We need laborers. Skilled laborers. Laborers. Well, we're not going to hmm. find any in Nordis. The other towns? There's one to the north, outside of Nordis province. It's by Kartsuva Forest. It's called um, Karbazra. It's a uh, hmm. different dynasty there. They are uh, known for being far more diplomatic than others, so perhaps some negotiations are in order, but I'm not sold on the idea yet. If we are <clears throat> too weak to another dynasty, they could just as easily aid the Papacs. Right. Always a balancing game. It's starting to cool down a little bit, so that's good. Yes, I... Like of sun makes us easier. To bed. I'm finished for the day. Now he's nice to cheese bed now. Thank you, my lord. No reason to thank me. I thank you, sir. You do not miss every single day. You see, you see Here's some water and ale. I like that. Did you need it? All right. Getting started, getting the line down, so just put them one by one across. Get away, Mr. Bonner. I'll take two of them, huh? Yeah, put one on my shoulder. We'll see you later. Another one, I can get back. You almost, I almost got you. I almost got you. Yeah, if you want to head out too, it's alright. We probably got the rest of it. Do I have a good pump going? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well... <laughs> Comparison's the thief of joy, my lord. <clears throat> Thanks, Bobs. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome. Thank you. How goes your evening? Ah, oh, pretty good. I had got to see quite the sight. Building the wall. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good when everyone comes together. <sighs> I... I fear I'm not suited for such tasks. <laughs> Nor I, unfortunately, but... Do my best. <laughs> uh, 
don't think that makes it more commendable then. <clears throat> I don't believe I caught your name. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, apologies. My name is Ari. Ari. Pleasure. One of the uh, newer girls here. Ah. I heard uh, from Basil that a few of you got brought on. Yes. Quite a few of us uh, always looking for new opportunities. Hmm. One is developing different infants. Uh, the other one brings in quite a few customers. Very, very promising. How are you finding the work? Oh, more enjoyable than even I anticipated. And I wasn't you know, regretting it at all. A lot of the uh, men of Gradia seem to just want to wind down, have some company, forget their woes. I can't fault them for that. I know how they feel. So getting used to everybody, but I've all... I haven't had anybody that's given me any trouble. Most of the ladies here are quite nice, as I've found. <laughs> A lot of them so sweet for their own good. But I sort of like that, those who have lost all hope. It's unfortunate to see when they lose it. Mm. I'd rather see girls with twinkles in their eyes. I think most people would agree. <laughs> I know I definitely do. Well, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. I'll leave you to your respite. We lost Mirren today. It is a sad day. The contrast from season one bathhouse. I think I've had that every time I come in here, you know. I don't know, I think I liked the other bathhouse more. I don't know, it, it's different. <clears throat> different memories. Kyle is coming to terms with the idea that he has to start cutting people off, so to speak.
You didn't throw your back out, did you? No. Good exercise, though, I will say. <clears throat> like I said, I had a good pump going, so that's good. Mm. Makes you uh, able to work out a lot of the muscles you see you need, to be honest. My chest hurts. Oh. Your chest hurts? What do you mean? It's why I can't do much strength and grappling stuff. Ah, I see. Well... Your arms must feel great, at oh, least. Okay. Little soul. <clears throat> Hello? Ah. Work's all done for today. <laughs> You've attracted them. You deserve a bonus, yes? <laughs> I sure hope Maybe the, so. We both they had did. talks about 25 <laughs> copper a worker. <laughs> I started setting... Uh, the bouquet is already set up upstairs, and I started setting up some wine up there. Um, oh, wonderful. Not sure what else we'll need, but let me know. Pardon me. Could we get two... What are they called? Apple teenies? Yes, apple oh, teenies. Yes, did Marcus <clears throat> tell you about them? Yes, could we have two, please? <laughs> Perfect, right I'll go make some. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, my ribs have been cracked so many fucking times, they're basically powder at this point. I don't have much. Uh. Yeah. I had a troll throw me into a Whoa. table, nearly broke my spine. Oh, dear Lord. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't fun. Well, <sighs> have you spoke to a surgeon? Maybe there's some sort of medication that can be done? It doesn't hurt all the time, just sometimes when I'm in the middle of the thing, usually when someone's grappling with me, it, it just kind of gives out. I just lose it. Uh, I see. <clears throat> so, like, a medical condition? No, after everything that's happened, the amount of times I've, you know, busted my chest and my ribs and back, I just don't have it oh, in me anymore. Right. Remember that time in Ledford? It's not yeah. been the same since. That was a bit rough. Liliana tried to train me out of it, but we just couldn't get it back to how it used to be. Yeah. Well, maybe oh, one day, though. Same. You know? Man has many different scars upon himself. <clears throat> Sometimes they just make you stronger in different ways. That's all. Hmm. Just know not to grapple oh. with anyone now. Uh, right. <laughs> I'll be sure to leave that to us. <laughs> yeah, that's what to say. Yes, if. No, better yet, I'll throw him in the way. If you do see me in a grapple with someone and it's life or death, my ribs will break. <laughs> like, I'll, please I'll help me. I'll start barking and I'll charge the, I'll charge the man. Yes. Perfect. Uh, well, uh, Apple teeny <laughs> night. You've been advertising the Apple teenies. <laughs> Perfect well, I think, time. I think they came up with it. <laughs> yeah. We just ordered the Apotinis and then you showed up. Uh, Thank of you course. very much. <laughs> Another I'm no one problem. for your number one customer you, as of well. Of course. Oh, we thank you. Never, yes. We can no never problem. not give Mark. Would you like a closer? I'm not the number That's one. That's fine. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> All right. What the hell? Uh, am I wrong? I mean, I, I see you some here of us more are relatively new me. here. It might be. <laughs> I'm here to cleanse off the day. <laughs> yes, he works so hard. Yeah. Then, I see. <laughs> I sweated buckets out there. <clears throat> Perhaps. Good work, bucket. Marcus. <laughs> yes, I sweat cement by now. <laughs> That's so manly. Anyway, my apple. Yeah, that one guy, we'll man. Put you on the wall. <laughs> he had the audacity as similar to guys like, who are we following? <clears throat> it's about the same. Level as that guy. Oh, hello. Hey, that guy. Hey. 
Hey, it's me, that guy. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Luckily, I had the feeling. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, huh. oh payment! That helps Lord pay for the drinks. 25 copper. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> at okay. least like a silver. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're skilled labor. Absolutely. I'm skilled, just not in building. Thank you, Foreman. <laughs> yeah. I need. Next time, if we need someone dispatched on a building. <laughs> oh, if I ever a need a time. if I ever need a rope go cut the just the right way, oh, yeah. I know who to call for. <laughs> you joke about that, yeah. but I will fucking nail that. <laughs> you know who to call. <laughs> oh God, that's amazing. I might. <laughs> Need this room oh. cut specifically the right way for the crane. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh, clandestine rope cutting. <clears throat> Very good. That'll be one they silver. Said math never be used. Oh. <laughs> that'll be that'll be skilled, as much as skilled labor. Twenty feet of rope. Stops. Skilled labor. <laughs> it costs it costs a silver for twenty feet of rope. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Is there an event happening now, tonight? Now, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Well, there's a little special something, but today I have something a little special for. Oh, is it attached to my leg? There we yes. go. <laughs> so, as a little hobby of mine, I've been preparing some incense, and this is a new scent I've been experimenting on. With a little help of the apothecary today, this would be cinnamon with some thimbleberries. Wow. Help create a soothing aroma. Thank you. Please let me know what you think. I might be able to make more. Hmm. I will spice up things for sure. That's pleasant. Not bad. Hmm. <laughs> We're striving to give a full experience here. I thought because it looked like a lanta, I thought there was going to be like a silhouette dance show. <laughs> Puppet show. <laughs> I mean, upon the request. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For just the right amount of coin. Right. Yeah, I thought it was a lantern. Remember, these lanterns don't cast shadows. I was getting ready yeah. to cover my eyes. <laughs> oh. I'm <laughs> trying <laughs> ladies performing a dance or something I've never seen them too, that's for sure. <laughs> You've never seen ladies dance? Oh, I'd never say no to it. I enjoy it. Just oh, I see. I was going to say, poor <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're going to have to fix that. <laughs> right away. Oh. You can dance if you want to, Tabu. If you want to go and like leave us oh, behind, never leave. you could, you know. Yeah, if you want to just like take the women for your eyes. <clears throat> oh, don't you start, Marcus. <laughs> you you of all people have yes. no moral high ground to stand on with that. <laughs> Literally, I absolutely do. I am a knight, <clears throat> and <laughs> as a fellow trying. knight, I'm saying you don't. <laughs> I just happen to worship beauty in all its regards. So. Oh. <laughs> this smooth motherfucker, <laughs> right? I was thinking the same thing. Careful, my lord. If you blink, they might be both gone, and he will be too. <laughs> That'd be. I'm right. not that fast. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, we weren't saying you were that fast. Well, now we have to be concerned for you. Oh, God. <laughs> I sound defensive about this. Might have to test this. Oh, no. That was like a challenge. <laughs> what am I doing being so shy? I'm going to go grab my pipe. <laughs> I need to mingle after all that. Yes. <clears throat> No, I wouldn't <laughs> abandon Lad's night with the apple peenies. <laughs> we would completely understand if you did. No, Lad's night is special. <sighs> An unfortunate sacrifice, but it is necessary, right? How do we carry on? <laughs> I can't. <sighs> Listen, while we're in here, all our troubles just melt away. It's as if the world doesn't exist. Don't right? say that. 
What? Because as soon as you finish that sentence, something or someone's going to come through that door. Very ah. true. <clears throat> there we are. All right. I will enjoy the lads' night all the same. <laughs> you know, where I'm from, lads' night usually involves, like, beer and darts and like rough housing and like mm. drinking games not apple teenies and incense well we can accomplish half bath. those things in a warm bath yeah. which we're all in together <laughs> in a warm bath yeah <clears throat> so we can accomplish half that you know i mean we can go and do some sword training if you want my lord after we're done here i feel like building the wall sword was training. was quite manly like that was like well, a, was. you were just saying rough house in some games. <laughs> oh, we could go find those homeless friends. who hang around the forge, and we can, I don't know, <laughs> beat them well, up. What are you suggesting? Who tried to... <laughs> I, 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 we gotta protect our territory. I don't know. Um, well, it is true. I almost got I mugged the other night. We almost got yeah. Silly. We almost got we get mugged like on the daily. Oh <laughs> my! They're just hanging out. Yeah. Would you be taking detours through Stabber's Alley by any chance? Oh no, this was right in front of the blacksmith. This happened. <laughs> that makes oh me God. feel real safe. That's why yeah, we need right to establish ourselves as, you know, <clears throat> with the estate and all that. By beating up the homeless. No, that doesn't matter. People are going to... Beating up the my lord, please! I used the wrong word. <laughs> Brigands so who mean to <clears throat> defy us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. You know what this town needs? It's those little spikes, like little spikes in the corners where the homeless people sleep, so they can't sleep there. That's what we really need. Oh, invasive uh, architecture. <clears throat> that's the one. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, Marcus, get to it. You heard the lord. <laughs> Dang, got rid of my punji sticks. <laughs> yeah, he stepped on I actually one. saw that. The whole... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Tell him the story. He didn't, he didn't lose something to it, did he? I heard. I overheard something. <laughs> I heard what sounded like an animal in pain, and I looked to my left, and Tang comes oh. up out of the bushes, and he takes off his boot, and through his boot, there's a <laughs> pi there's a spike, a punji spike through it. Yeah. Just remind him of the deer. <clears throat> oh dear. Yeah. Mm. Seems we're surrounded. Yes, hello, ladies. You can, you, you may join us. <laughs> They've been surrounded by worse. If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> We've been wow, out of tougher scrapes than this. Surrounding I've ever had, my lord. Oh, Briar, we we can fight our way out. No, no. I think what? this is a case where we need to cut our losses and surrender. What? <laughs> I'm with the lord That's on right. this Give one. Up your coin. I. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Mind if I sit here next? Yeah. Of course. I'd be upset if you didn't. <laughs> hey, that is <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. How about you? Seems I get to have you company. Well, <laughs> <clears throat> I'll never say no to a nice, comforting voice. Maybe if I don't. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so you do? He's attracted to Mark. Look at this. <laughs> what? What do you I'm mean? Not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <clears throat> you can't help it. I, I, to I told you, All my right. lord. All right, slide this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh hi. <laughs> Stop manhandling them. Marcus, come now. You can't. <laughs> exactly. You have to throw the whip. Sorry. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> All that dragging, he's so rough. <laughs> I never said that I minded. I was moving oh. stone all day, so I'm, I'm still in the mood of moving things. What I hate about this is that he can do no wrong. He literally manhandles the woman and they're like, I don't mind. <laughs> that, that, that is bad. He was talking about it's beating up homeless time. people. <laughs> he was talking about beating up homeless people earlier, and then they're like, they flocked to him. 
Sorry, Can we do so a meeting of homeless people? This is the first I'm hearing of this. I would. Uh, what, hey. what effect does it have on you? Do you want to get closer to him? That's fine. What with... effect does it have? Yeah. Mm. Quiet. I mean, he knows I can't all the magic say anybody's words, ever tried using that one before. Hey, girl, I beat up homeless oh people. Want to get out of here and get a drink? <laughs> what is, does that do anything for you? <laughs> does that do anything? <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> With such pickup mm. lines, you certainly don't need to be here, huh? What? Okay, what is everyone's best pickup line? And ladies, what is the best pickup line you've ever heard in your professional oh. career?